Hello. Are you open for business? Yes, we are. Take a seat any way you like. This is really good. That hit the spot. A $50 tip? Yep, that is correct. You have not paid your lease in over two months. If I do not have the money by next Friday, I will be forced to evict you from the property. But, but Mr. Beaumont. It's not my problem. It looks like there's over $100 in here. <laughs> you can't take that! That's all the cash that I have! Mama, are we in trouble? Do we need to move again? Come on, guys, will you stop playing? You're driving me crazy. Sorry, Mama. We're just playing. Exactly. You two are playing games when you should be helping your mama. Now go over there and grab some plates and help me set these tables. OK. Yes, Mama. And after you finish helping me set the tables, I need you two to finish your homework and complete all your chores, and then you two can play. It's a Saturday. Why do we have to do homework? Do you want to play later? Yes. Then you need to do all your homework today. Got it? Yes, Mom, loud and clear. <laughs> I already finished all my homework. Mm. Hey. Well, since you did all your homework, Layla, then you can help your brother finish his. Ha ha. Finally, Ma, let's go help Mama. Hello. Are you open for business? Yes, we are. Take a seat any way you like. <laughs> Thank you. Unfortunately, we're out of a lot of things that we usually have because our meat distributor has not arrived yet today. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I was looking forward to having a salad for lunch. Well, I would suggest our summer salad, apples, walnuts, and the best house dressing you ever had. <laughs> okay, then. Well, let me have that summer salad. And also, let me have a glass of water when you get a chance. Of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. Here's your water, sir. Wow, talk about fast service. Thank you, young lady. This is my daughter, Layla. Thank you, sweetie. Now go help your brother with his homework. Yes, mama. Enjoy your lunch, mister. <laughs> well, thank you. That's uh, one heck of a worker you got right there. Her and her brother could be quite a handful. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back shortly with your salad. And is there anything else I can get you in the meantime? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm good for now, but thank you. These are really good. Huh, man. That, that hit the spot. Thanks again. <laughs> I told you. Well, I am so glad you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back here soon. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. I think you made a mistake on your bill. That can't be right. No, no, no. Not a mistake. A $50 tip? Are you sure? Yep, that is correct. Mrs. Willis, may I have a word? Just a minute, Mr. Beaumont. I'm with a customer. Give me a second. I don't know what to say. That was the most incredible, generous thing anybody's ever done for me. I have no words. You are very welcome, and I promise I will be back here again soon. Please do. You're always welcome. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Excuse me. Mrs. Willis, I have left you several messages. 
And why have you not returned any of my calls? I am so sorry, sir. I've just been very busy. Yes, too busy to return my calls and too busy to pay your bills. You are two months behind in your lease. My sincere apologies, sir. I am doing the best that I can, but I promise you I can get you the money by next week. Next week? Yes, sir. Fine. Both payments, correct? Are you sure you need both payments next week? Mrs. Willis, I am not running a charity here. This is a business. You have not paid your lease in over two months. If I do not have the money by next Friday, I will be forced to evict you from the property. But, but Mr. Beaumont... It's not my problem. You have until next Friday. Good day. What is that? Those are my tips. It looks like there's over a hundred dollars in here. <laughs> Mr. Willis, please! You can't take that! That's all the cash that I have! No! <laughs> Mama, what happened? What did Mr. B say? He looked really angry. <laughs> Nothing for you kids to worry about. Mama's got to figure it out. Mama's gonna figure it out. <laughs> Hello again. Hey, joining <laughs> us for lunch again. Hey, I told you I'd be back. A man of his words? That's certainly nice to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, where are your little workers? Oh, they're at school. <laughs> okay. Well, tell me, what do you recommend off the menu today? Well, you already know, you can't go wrong with one of our salads. <laughs> you know, let me try a sandwich. Oh, okay. Our ham and cheese is the bomb if I should uh, say so myself. And our meat distributors arrived on time and delivered today already. <laughs> okay then, well if that's the case, then let me get a ham and cheese sandwich with a side of chips. Uh, excellent choice. And what do you have to drink? Water's fine. Great. Um, how about a bowl of chocolate ice cream made fresh this morning on the house? Well, you know, I can't pass up on a bowl of chocolate ice cream. <laughs> that sounds perfect, thank you. By the way, what's your name? Rebecca, Rebecca Willis. Rebecca Willis. My name's Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, likewise. So what I need you to do, sit tight and I'll be back with your order in a few minutes, okay? Okay. So here's the chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me, how was the sandwich? Oh, <laughs> you weren't lying. That sandwich was the bomb. I don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you have a seat? Join me, please. Oh, thanks. So, so tell me, you, you run this place by yourself? Yes, indeed. I've had this place nearly three years. <laughs> it's going to be very hard to say goodbye. I'm sorry, but are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm fine. So, why do you have to say goodbye? I can't afford it anymore. I've sunk in every dime that I've made into this place. Business is slow. I could barely pay my vendors. Now my landlord is threatening to kick us out if I don't catch up on my lease. I'm two months behind. I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't know what else to do. The kids and I got evicted from my apartment last month, and so we've been staying in this trailer over here, and we have to be out by Friday. Your landlord, you, you can't ask him for an extension? Oh, <laughs> I did and he won't budge. He said it's Friday or else. 
I wish there was something that I could do. Oh, you already have. Just by sitting here listening to me, you already have. Well, is there something else I can get you? A slice of pie or anything else? Uh, no, but if it's okay with you, I would like to come back within a few days and have lunch again. Oh, if it's okay with me. Come on, Vic. Do you know you are welcome here anytime? Anytime. Now you going to enjoy your day. <laughs> what? What do you? Now, would you children stop that? What? Now, you little monsters, stop this nonsense right now. And I want you to go tell your mother that I'm here. Sorry, mister. You can stuff your sorries into a sack. Now go get your mother. These children are like animals. Mama, mama, Mr. B is here. OK, mommy will take care of it. I just can't believe this. This is just ridiculous. Whoa, Mrs. Mrs. Willis, there you are. <sighs> I assume you have something for me. Yes, sir. And here it is. And thank you so much for your understanding. Oh. Mrs. Willis. This is a check for one month. You owe two months rent. And as of next week, it'll be three months. Didn't I tell you I wanted both payments today? Yes, sir, you did, but that's all I can afford right now. Trust me that, that it's going to pick up and things are going to get better, and I promise you I'll have the rest for you by next Friday. Promises, promises. I'm all through with promises, promises. <sighs> Mrs. Willis, enough is enough. Since you are unable to pay your fee today, you leave me with no other choice. Pack your things. Mr. Beaumont, I am begging you. Mama, are we in trouble? Do we need to move again? Mr. Beaumont, we have been evicted from our home last month. We have no place to go. We've been sleeping in the trailer, and if you put us out, we'll be out on the streets. Wait, 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 what, what, what? So you've been sleeping on the premises? If I had known this, you would have been evicted weeks ago. You have to the end of the day, and then I want you out of here, understood? They're not going anywhere. Excuse me? And who might you be? I'm Victor Hamilton of the Hamilton Realty Group. Hamilton Realty Group? Uh, you're one of the biggest realty firms in the state. Yes, I know that. I also know that we've agreed to pay Mrs. Willis's lease for the remainder of the year. <laughs> Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. This here is a cashier's check covering Mrs. Willis's balance for the remainder of the year. Well, will wonders never cease? Hmm. So, are we good now? Oh, <laughs> we're golden. It's a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Hamilton. Mrs. Willis, goodbye. Good day, Mr. Hamilton. She's on your hands now. I don't understand. Why did you do that? Well, you know that sandwich you made? That was the best meal I've had all week. Plus, that ice cream, man, mm, 31 flavors has nothing on you. Mr. Hamilton, you have no idea how grateful I am. <laughs> how grateful we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I believe in you. And I believe with a little help, this place can be a major success. <laughs> Mama, does that mean we could stay? That's exactly what it means. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>